Welcome to FPV Flight Airborne. Today I'm going to talk to you about tricopters and why I like to build them. Alright, so the winter months approached us and we are kind of cast out of the airplane field and to the multi-rotor field. So it's uh, much easier to coat your electronics with some Corrosion X and fly that around opposed to the high winds that come with all the snow or, or uh, unpredictable weather. So you know, crosswinds will definitely take your plane down. So I kind of got into multi-rotors. I'm going to talk about my multi-rotor that I built and why it only cost me a total of $112 to make. So first I'm going to go through the specs. This truck hopper itself without the battery and everything that you see right here, uh, the total weight is 663 grams. It has 16 inch booms on all three sides. Um, it has, they're, they're also half inch wide. I'm running 1,000 kV motors on here with uh, 30 amp ESCs, 10 inch by 4.5 inch props. I'm running a KK2 board with the most up to date Stevie at this time of the video, Stevie's 1.9 version software. Um, so basically, it's reflashed. Um, on this this uh, carriage here that's holding it all together. This main body is actually made out of aluminum. It has a diamond type plate design like that. And uh, so I cut all that out with a Dremel tool. I also made small notches here in the sides so you can take the zip ties and route them around the boom and it can break free or fold. You put it in your backpack and, and go for a hike or, or video record your kids sleigh riding, whatever you want to do with it. So um, then also I have a uh, 9 gram servo for the back. This is a Metal Gear Emax servo. Also I have a uh, tilt mechanism here. This is, uh, I, I got this on eBay. I'm going to go over parts here in a minute. The, the little landing gear that I have is uh, actually, they're pipe, pipe connectors and I got those from, from my local hardware store for a dollar. I just cut them down, I put tape around them, and uh, I popped a zip tie through the side and then wrapped that around the boom itself. All right, so um, the only difference between this one and the one that I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna sell a couple of these on eBay, see if you guys like the experience that I like, which is awesome. I love tricopters. Or, in my opinion, they're better than they're better than quadcopters or or really anything else because they're so maneuverable. They're so small, you can fit them just about anywhere and just take them hiking with you. And uh, and I just really love the yaw mechanism. So, okay, the difference that I have from what I'm going to probably sell, I'm going to be selling on eBay, is that these props here are actually carbon fiber, and I'm running a Dragon Link. So if you get like the non ready to fly version, it won't have a receiver and transmitter, so a hand radio and, and this, it'll actually have uh, just the body by itself. So, and these props will all be plastic, they won't be carbon fiber. But let's go ahead and talk over the parts that, that I recommend for you guys to, to build this design. Oh, and uh, also the total length of, of this body is eight and a half inches. So from the front here to, to the back side, that's a total of eight and a half inches right there. And I do not know the degree of the arms, but it is absolutely perfect. And that is, I, I've tried it, I tried to have it where I set the, the arms back more like a T. I've had them really, really far forward and it just kind of felt unstable like that. This is the absolute, what I could, from what I could tell, the most stable and also maneuverable position so I, I tested that out real good. The advantages to having the aluminum opposed to like wood or something like that is that I've crashed this into the ground at from from 150 feet drop and shouldered it right into the ground and I just pulled I pulled it out of the ground actually and knocked the mud off and I I, I, uh, I put another zip tie on the legs and I just kept flying. So I had absolutely no issues with that at all. All right, and so I'm gonna go ahead and talk over the parts. Uh, the KK2 board costs $23 on eBay. The aluminum itself, you can probably pick up for about $7 for a sheet. Um, I have two halves of it here, so 
um, you're gonna have to actually cut two if you if you want to have the same kind of setup, and then bolt it bolt it down here at the bottom, just like that. Uh, so twenty three dollars for that, and about seven dollars for the body. Uh, the wooden booms cost me three dollars, and I just cut them down into into those pieces, and the bolts uh, I got for two dollars and I just drilled out similar sized holes. It's not really that big of a deal. As long as you don't drill too big of a hole, then it'll just make your booms real weak. So I only I only dug out probably about half of it. These aren't very thick. I can't remember the millimeter of these these bolts, but they're not thick at all. And they definitely they definitely hold it together. The 1000 kV motors are uh, 2212s, uh, 13T. You can find those all over eBay. And I got three of them for $24. I got three 30 amp ESCs. You'll see these little banana color ESCs on eBay. You can pick up three for another $24. Okay, so these pipe covers, like I was talking about with the landing gear, only cost me a dollar for the pipe covers. They were super cheap. The propellers, you can get some really cheap propellers with the same pitch that I'm running right now uh, on Amazon. And uh, they're the 10, 10 by 4.5. Uh, inch props like I said before and um, you can pick those up for a dollar thirty on Amazon they're super super cheap I would go ahead and I recommend highly if you buy the plastic ones to buy in excess m way too many buy you know six six to eight just to start off with and, and maybe even more than that to be honest with you if you've never flown multi-rotors before then you're gonna do what I've done and, and go through a lot of plastics before you get to this I've even chopped these up pretty good I mean, I, I bit I bit off quite a quite a few pieces on this one. So uh, you can get a pack. Of, also, you can get a pack of zip ties uh, for three dollars. And like I said, the props are only a dollar thirty. You can get uh, one clockwise and one counterclockwise prop. And you know, all these prices are going to vary. But you know, I'm giving you the roundabout what I got. I got this in at if you wanted to make one just like it. Another thing is, is I got this 9 gram analog servo down here. You can probably pick up an, uh, a Metal Gear, Metal Gear servo for um, anywhere from 3 to $5. And you can get that on eBay, Amazon, I mean just anywhere. You can pick up a, a 5 pack for $18, but these, I mean if you were to count it down just to one, it would be 3 to $5 for one. If you get the cheap plastic ones, it would be about 3 you'd probably pay a little bit more for the Metal Gear because it's metal. And, uh, okay, so the next thing that you're gonna, that you're gonna need to purchase are these male-to-male -male endings here, these uh, servo, servo connect connections. You're gonna need at least five of those. And you can pick up 10 of them that are, you need to get the 10 centimeter long ones to have this same, uh, well, similar setup. And that's gonna run you about $5 for 10 of them. All right, so you still have some leftover in case you yank some of the servo cables out, moving them around and whatnot. So the bullet connectors, these, I actually have everything quick released down to these bullet connectors right here. Um, I, I'm going to have all these pre-soldered on on the ones that I'm selling on eBay, but these are, these are real great for when this leg snaps off. Everything just completely disconnects from the main body, and then you just have a leg by itself. Uh, you probably will break these if you do any high speed maneuvers, so that that could definitely happen. So be prepared for that. Also, the uh, the yaw mechanism. So the yaw mechanism, you can pick up this yaw mechanism on eBay for eight dollars, and uh, they ship within the United States. So if you're outside the U.S., you might have to I don't know you know, buy it from the U.S. Or, or buy it from wherever you know it from, but I can get it for eight dollars from a U.S. dealer on eBay, and they have really, really, really fast shipping. So I highly recommend you get the the ones that are already pre-done, and they look they look like that where they're already they already have a, a small connector in the middle, and it just holds it together. He's real great. Um, I can't I can't recall his name off the top of my head. For real squared away guy. The female. Uh, balance lead. So this this KK2 board does come with a buzzer. I took it off for right now, but the buzzer will tell you if you have low battery life. If you have low battery life, then you will want to know. So the buzzer will be connected here, and the 
the the female um, balance lead. You're gonna you're gonna look for a balance female balance lead on eBay, and you should be able to pick that up for another five dollars. All right. So if if you bought everything that I bought, um, you, and one thing I didn't mention is the wires. Okay. So if you um, if if you buy these these wires here, these thin little, I think these are, I can't remember what gauge wires are, these are, but if, uh, I, I will already have these pre-done and pre-soldered and everything's going to be already finished, but uh, if you uh, if you decide to make it on your own, then you're probably not going to pay any more than just a couple of dollars for for the wires connecting the, uh, the, the male and female 3.5 millimeter bullet connectors. Alright, so Total cost for everything is $112 for everything you see here, except for, like I said, the Dragon Link that's obviously not going to be included, and the uh, radio system, so the actual radio that you use to fly with. If you bought everything together, completely done, ready to fly, I'm going to sell all that together for $210. Um, and just as it is, without if you already have a radio, you already have a transmitter, and all, and all that set up, and everything's good to go, then then I'm probably going to go for a lot less than that. If, obviously, it's not going to include a radio. So just look for that. I'm going to have it listed as Tricopter RTF or Tricopter Kit or or something like that, and you'll you'll see me on there. Just look for uh, look for my email address. Uh, that's Pocono, P-O-C-O-N-O, Whitus, W-H-I-T-I-E-Z, 4214, at yahoo.com. And um, you can email me directly. The only thing I didn't mention here is because I kind of think that everybody, I mean, you got some type of Velcro laying around. It's just like a piece of Velcro with a, a, a hook and pile portion. That's the pile, that's the hook portion to, to seat your battery on. I have three bolt bolts that go a little bit further uh, down and that kind of houses the battery a little bit so it doesn't move around. Now as I have some hook portion um, Velcro on, on the body itself. Alright so that's my tricopter setup and right now I'm going to go to the videos and show you how it flies. Thanks for watching. This is on manual. Absolutely ridiculous stable. Very controllable. Extremely durable. Just an outstanding, outstanding tricopter. Just flawless. I'll just sit there for you. Yaw mechanisms, great. Real tough. 